Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Neon Raptor beer. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've done a Neon Raptor beer. I uh, just don't know why, I just haven't seen anything really uh, that's piqued my interest. But, I've got one today. This one is called Very Naughty Luggage and this is an 8.2% dipper. There it is. Um, I don't really think I have to explain what the can art is. It's an x-ray machine of some suitcases. And yeah, um, dippers are, are like the main thing at the minute. Everyone's making them. Um, and I'm really impressed with a lot of them lately. They've all been really nice and also different. They've not really gone for the same structure of, you know, the same fruits and stuff. It's all been different, so I'm looking forward to this. Nice dipper. And because all the other ones have been different recently, I'm hoping this will be the same. Uh, there's no guff on the side of this can at all. I think. I know there is, but it's tiny. There. Right, so it says, brewed with even more citrus, Simcoe and Mosaic than our flagship tropical New England IPA. This is naughty luggage, but bigger, juicier and naughtier. This beer will slay dinosaurs. It says that there. Uh, there's no other guff though. Uh, it's a vegan friendly beer. Store cold doesn't actually say how cold, it just says C. Like Celsius. Uh, but yeah, let's crack it open and see what we got, shall we? I like this black can actually, it's very nice, very smart. Right. Ooh. I can smell that from this distance. Anyway, looks nice. We've got ourselves a orange juice, tropical juice beer with an ivory compact head. You know, standard dipper stuff at this point. Um, let's get a smell, see what we get, shall we? What is that? Is that like coconuts? Can't be coconut. Passion fruit. There's a, a, a fruit in there. I can't put my finger on what it is yet. Um, there's something in there. It smells nice. I'm not saying it smells bad. There's something in there I can't identify, but I know what it is. Um, so, passion fruit, mango, guava, pine. It smells nice. I still can't figure out what it is. Anyway, um, it's a mouthful of body carb, shall we? Carbs are nice and light, quite soft. Body's a... Medium, medium to full body. It's nice and juicy. Feels almost creamy in a way. And I know it's a dipper and it shouldn't be, that. that's kind of like stout stuff that, but it's got like this creamy vibe to it. Like it's quite smooth and it reminds me that just the body kind of reminds me of one of them Vault City sour smoothies, like that kind of creamy texture to it um, it's juicy it's exotic it's fruity it's really nice it's got nice dryness to it slightly bitter but there is like a creaminess in there which is weird or creamy feel it's not cream because it's not lactose but it's got this cream feel I don't really know how else to describe it anyway let's get a bit of a taste shall we cheers Oh, there's a lot of flavour in there that I couldn't smell. It's a nice little surprise, that. It's a nice bit of stone fruit in there. Um, yeah, it's nice, dark, pithy stone fruits. Plums, really. Um, it stands out. It's just this nice, yeah, nice, pithy, juicy, dark stone fruit. Really, really nice, that. It's quite strong, that. Um, 
<coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so there's all that stone fruit, like I just said. Uh, you've got guava in there, and you've got passion fruit. I can't really taste any mango, like I could on the smell. Or like I could get it on the smell. It's kind of lacking, but it does have more flavours in there than I thought. Uh, the pine's in there. Nice, resinous, piney, bitter feel to it. If you've had, I'm just trying to think. Like oils, like kind of like bitter flavour. You get like, you know... The bitterness on a sweet side. It's nice. It's a nice sweet tropical fruity flavour with a lovely resinous piney bitter sort of backbone to it, if you will. It's a really nice balance of flavour. Um, at the minute, with the amount of dippers I'm drinking, it's kind of hard to try and make each review try and you know try and be unique because I'm doing a dip again, again, and again, and I keep saying flavours and. They're not all in the every video, but I start pulling flavours out, and then they start, you know, some of these flavours are in other beers, and then they're in others, it starts to get like deja vu with me, just feeling like it's a different beer, because I've had these flavours in another beer, and it feels similar, and you know, the same percentages, but these are the beers that are out at the minute. Dippers t are the trend, I don't know why. Maybe it's to do with the alcohol tax, it's like that push before they start getting heavily taxed. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I'm enjoying it. I like Dippers. Just behind Tippers and Imperial Stouts, but I still like them. They are really nice. And this is no exception. This is a really nice beer. Um, it's just hard, yeah, it's just hard to review so many Dippers and try and make them feel different in each video but I'm trying. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go in and enjoy this. It is a very nice dipper. Um, I thought it'd be good for some of this one actually. 8.2 is uh, nicely hidden. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a good beer. So, Neon Raptor. Uh, very naughty luggage at 8.2%. I'm gonna have to get more Neon Raptor in because I don't do them enough and I don't know why. I think it's just price at this point, but I do end up spending loads of money on other brewers, so I think I should just get these. And yeah. Anyway, uh, out of ten, it's a nice. Uh, I'm giving it an eight and a half. It nine feels too high, eight feels too low, so eight and a half. It's a nice, nice beer. It's a nice dipper. Yeah. So if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know uh, what you think. If you like it, if you don't. Oh, pardon me. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Neon Raptor's website down below. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got it from the Market Bottle Shop, but I could have got it from Chain House Tap Room. I'm not entirely sure, but go to both because they're both equally as good. Um, one for drinking on the spot, one for buying and drinking later. Both just as good. Anyway, link will be down below for Neon Raptor. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later